Hello everyone, and today we are going to be getting a kill with every single flanker weapon. Maybe including reskins, I don't know, we'll see, but we're going to be playing a bunch of games and seeing what kills we can get with each weapon, and we're not going to stop until we get a kill with each one. I'm probably going to do this with other classes too, but flankers commonly considered to be the first class, so that's who we're going to start with. Uh, I should warn you, I'm not really a flanker player, if I'm being honest, but I mean, we'll go fast, shoot gun, and then you'll probably figure out over there. All right, lever shotgun is done, so how that's going to work is we're going to start with stock weapons, and essentially every single time I get a kill with a weapon, I'm going to switch that weapon out, but I'm going to keep the rest of them if I haven't gotten a kill with them. So now that I'm here, I'm going to switch out a lever shotgun, and we're going to move on to the specialist. Again, I don't really play flanker, so I'm not extremely familiar with each of the weapons, but as long as I'm shooting and I'm dealing damage, we should probably be fine. So when I die, my weapon's going to switch out, so I'm just going to try to get a kill with the pistol from, I don't know, somewhere. Alright, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, I'm going to see, can I like even- No! No, that's not going to work. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, we moved on to the specialist here, and we'll see what we can do with that. I am going to get kills with every weapon. It's not just going to be primaries and then secondaries and then melees. I'm going to get whatever I can get, and then we'll see where it goes from there. So I'm thinking about other weapons, uh, more specifically the ones that don't deal damage exactly. Like, I'm talking like uh, Witch's Brew, Bloxy Cola, that kind of stuff. I'm thinking probably... Uh, if they give you a certain effect that you can still deal damage with, because obviously not for Loxy Cola is the bonk in this game. Whatever, you, you know what I mean. So for like Witch's Brew, where it gives you mini crits, obviously we're going to have those in effect to count that as a kill. Um, but for a weapon like Bloxy Cola, we're probably not going to be using it at all in this video, because the only reasonable way we could... What you would consider getting a kill with it is probably running into someone with a projectile, but... If I'm being honest, no one no one wants to sit around for that, so... Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Okay, that special is done. Uh, we're only getting the primary so far. I know it's the beginning of the video still, but I'm not sure how to get a kill with this... yet. So it doesn't do terrible damage. It's not a bad weapon. There are just more, I guess, like, creative options. And they have two medics, which is really inconvenient for me. Prepare for trouble! Make it double! So, we're gonna move to the next game, which will probably be a lot easier, because I'm not joining, like, two-thirds of the way into the timer. So, so far we have the lever shotgun and the specialist down. And now we have to get a kill with... everything else. That's kind of how it works. I am probably gonna do this with other classes. Um, we'll see how this video goes. But I definitely have intentions on doing it with other classes. Maybe it's not going to be difficult, but we'll go with the Perceptionist just for now. Because it's a shotgun, and I want to save the fun ones. Honestly, now that I'm thinking of it, I might save certain weapons for later. So I can pair them with other weapons. So some kills will be a lot easier. But I mean, then again, easy kills probably isn't why you're watching this video. So, Oh, he's weak. He's weak. Alright, that's the pistol. That's our secondary weapon down. Uh, we got to see what we're going to switch to after that. Hey... Oh my god, using the Perceptionist for its intended method? Holy moly. So, pistol's done. I'm thinking the Winger is probably gonna be easy. Uh, we'll save Witch's Brew for one that's, like, really difficult. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe for, like, one of the double barrel ones. So we're gonna switch to the Winger there. Still haven't gotten a kill with the Bat yet, which is also really not that difficult. Flanker is one of those characters where your stock weapons are really not bad at all. Like, there's no constant drive to switch any of them out. And don't get me wrong, there are classes that are like that, so... It's nice to know Flanker, being the starter character, is not one of them. Sorry to, like, the five Perceptionist fans here. Oh, speaking of which, that's the Perceptionist. Um... Can we get this guy with the winger? If I could... If I could fucking aim. Did a single bullet? That did 20 damage. And that's the winger. Okay, great. I'm gonna say the Lupera DB, just for extra mobility, and the... I mean, I guess we could count Super Sneakers. I mean, they're not really a weapon, they just give you an overall buff. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know if I need to include them, but... Oh, 
Oh my god, that's so annoying. I could have just killed him with a bat, but anyway, that's the para DB done. Um, considering melee combat is kind of his thing, I don't know if I want to get into that turf. Oh, well, that's a guy trying to get out of there. Donkey, 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 swing! Oh, but that's a bat kill. All right. You're going to take one for the team. Okay, the melees are definitely going to be the highlight of this video just because of how impossible they are. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. I mean, you got like the wooden sword, you got the, well, I was thinking the rap assassin, but the rap assassin is actually not terrible. Okay, that's Mew Mauler done. Not surprised considering it's a primary. Alright, that's babyface done. Yeah, this video is definitely going to get a lot more difficult once we get into the other weapons. I don't know, this is kind of a weird weapon, because on one hand it's really annoying, but on the other hand, like, no one uses it. So I don't really know what to say. Okay, that is an average. I didn't do that for the video. I did that personally. You are a disgrace. You know what, I think I actually got this whole flanker thing down. I'm running into sentries a lot. Maybe a wooden sword kill? No. Yeah, wooden sword is really, you're meant to hit the opponent once, and that marks them for death, and then you start hitting them with your other weapons, but getting a kill with the wooden sword itself is going to prove to be a very difficult task, considering it has a 75 damage penalty. Even though that's the only downside, it matters a lot so i would not be surprised if that weapon took much longer than you probably expect i think in general flanker does not have any bad primaries but we're gonna go with the soda popper and we're gonna keep everything as is probably so i'm gonna be honest i don't think payload is the easiest mode well actually i don't think any modes are necessarily easy to do this kind of thing with i think payload might actually be one of the better ones to be honest I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Sometimes I actually recorded, I think, oh god, I think it was like a year ago, I actually recorded this exact video, but I just kind of let that footage just sit, and I never did anything with it, and I still plan on not doing anything with it, if I'm being honest, but I figured I'll just redo it. That's a wooden sword kill, actually really, really lucky for me. Now we get to move to one of the better ones, which might actually help with a lot of things. Let's go with the Sandman. People actually don't use the Sandman that much, despite how iconic it is, and I think that's really funny. So my plan is to probably hit them with the baseball Hi. and then the shuriken. That's not gonna happen when that guy's in the way, but I, I don't know how I'm gonna get a kill with some of these weapons. Also, like, for weapons with, like, projectiles, I'm not gonna have to get separate kills with them, where I get a kill with the projectile, and then I get a kill- oh boy, and then I get a kill with the actual weapon itself, that's- that's not how it's gonna work. That's a Sandman kill, and that's an achievement, I'm actually shocked about that. And that's a soda proper kill. So the only thing left now is the shortstop, which is actually the main primary I use in the rare instances I play flanker. Probably my biggest priority is to get a kill with the shuriken right now before anything else. If I get a kill with the shortstop or the grill scout before then, then, you know, I'm obviously I'm going to count it. But I think overall flanker doesn't have any bad choice. I feel like flanker needs more bad choices. I don't know. That's kind of a weird thing to say, but it refilled itself. And I missed again. Did somebody say boom? It'll probably work from there. Okay, that was that kill was really all the shuriken. I'm not gonna count it, obviously, but I I just like to express that I'm very tight about that. Oh, how I wish for a shuriken kill, please. Why must you do me so? Fucking dirty. Were they? That seems like an obvious dead ringer, but. Oh. Alright, that wasn't my kill, but 
I, I, to be honest, if my my Girl Scout probably wouldn't have killed anyway, but uh, you hate to see it. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to use my shuriken if I'm gonna miss. If he dies from afterburn, that still counts. Let's go! Grill Scout is done. Um, still a lot of melee weapons to go, but that's a really good one to get. And we're moving to the next game. So we're going to take this time to switch out. <sighs> no one uses the candy cane, so we might as well. Shuriken is still really pissing me off. And I don't think we got a shortstop kill yet, to be honest. <laughs> My biggest fear in this challenge actually has nothing to do with... It actually does have something to do with Flanker, but not about the weapons themselves. It actually has to do with Flanker as a character, because if you didn't already know in this game, you can only have two of each class on the team. Just do something. Just do something. A challenger! Yes! Candy Cane! Kind of off topic, but candy canes are overrated as hell. Like, I don't know if it's just me, or I just haven't had enough candy canes in my time. I just do not get the hype behind them whatsoever. Alright, that's a shortstop kill. I think that's going to do it for all the primaries now. Fuck it, we get a second candy cane kill. And die by Joe the Marksman main. Who's Joan? Oh, that's my mom! So now we're much more flexible in what we do. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably just gonna switch to... I'm gonna just switch to the lever shotgun, because this is a really consistent stock weapon, and I'm very happy that it's... Um, I'm very happy that it's uh, still reliable, even though it's a stock weapon. Oh, please, please, please. Yes! Finally, six-point shuriken kill is done. Now we actually get to switch out this entire loadout, but I'm not going to switch out of my primary yet. Yeah. And that's a century. Great. Are you going to chase me? I mean, I'm not asking you to chase me. I'm just wondering if you were planning on it. No, I think he's just defending. He wouldn't chase after me. He's not that petty. I'll actually switch out right now, even if I die. We're going to go concealed carry... Um, you can actually choose whatever you want. Yeah, you can kill me if you want. And, uh, we're gonna go Cold Shoulder. I think this... Actually, I don't think Cold Shoulder is that difficult, to be honest. Because there's no damage penalty to it at all. And there's no, uh, reduced swing speed. I think it's generally the same. It's just... I think a lot of the downsides come with, um... Uh, the Snowball. Which, actually, not terrible thing. Ah! Alright, so we got an achievement and the cold shoulder kill, which is really neat. Uh, next is the concealed carry, which I think is alright. Alright, concealed carry is done. That's really great. Actually, oh wow, look at these stats. That's actually not terrible. Yeah, I think a lot of flankers' uh, capability really depends on the loadout, not so much of how you... Well, it, it definitely how you play the character, but not so much and just you get to rely on one weapon i think the only weapon you would get to really rely on it for flanker is the leather shotgun but i mean in all honesty that weapon really becomes your uh top priority when it comes to damage output if you match it with other like stat based weapons so next thing i'm thinking of is the witch's brew what's gonna be the easiest thing to get a kill with that i'm gonna say shotgun cannon to be honest i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll do some experimenting but Next is the conventional, the Mad Milk, and the Witch's Brew, and that's gonna be it for secondaries. You think this is funny? Huh? You think this is fucking funny? Do, do, do you want me to laugh through this, huh? <laughs> so we're gonna go with the Witch's Brew, and as for the melee weapon, I think we're gonna go Rap Assassin. Yeah, I think, yeah, Rap Assassin sounds great. So what's gonna happen is uh, a lot of this is really stat base so we're gonna drink this we're marked for death people see where i am so they're you're not fake that's really that's really unfortunate okay that's this is not great i actually use the rap assassin's 
semi-oftenly. I think it's probably my most used uh, melee weapon in the rare instances I play Flanker. Oh my god, that was almost it. We have 30 seconds left, and I don't think we're gonna make it, unfortunately. God damn it. Oh my god, this sucks so bad, dude. Comedy. I don't think the shotgun cannon is it, to be honest. Oh, what I was thinking before is the Lupera DB. That's what I was thinking of what we should use. And I think Witch's Brew and DB is actually not like an uncommon. I think it is like a comma that people will use. Like it's not like a new thing necessarily. We're gonna go right here. And we're gonna do what flankers do best. Uh, or second best thing. Their best thing is dying. You think this is funny? Huh? The second best thing they do is flanking. Hi, who would have thought? And that's a century. I don't actually get, or I'm not gonna say I don't get pressed very often at this game. Uh, Fuck! The amount of clips of popular YouTubers who have played games before, especially kid YouTubers, not, not kid YouTubers, YouTubers for kids who have probably had to cut out a lot of footage of them raging and saying a multitude of profanities at a children's video game. And I find that, I wouldn't say that fact, but the idea of that to be, to be really funny. He's gonna choose, I'm assuming? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the specialist, actually, because we have more ammo. And it's higher firing speed. I know there's a damage penalty, but... I'm still gonna roll with it, just to pray and see if it works. My prayers have been answered! Alright, that's a Witch's Brew kill. And that was almost a Rap Assassin kill, but we'll take it. Witch's Brew is done. You know what? We could actually use the Bloxy Cola. What if we use it? Like, if people are attacking us and we go around them, even if they see us, and then we can... I'm gonna use the lever... Sh I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna use the lever shotgun for that. Uh, we could use the Bloxy Cola, theoretically. But, I'm gonna say that it's probably not likely. But now that I've insisted on the idea, I feel like I kind of have to. This is actually a really good opportunity. Play the shot, yeller! Oh, I was actually, that was what I was gonna do with the whole, um, blowing themselves up thing that I mentioned a while ago. I think I'm gonna lay low here and wait for my drink to heal up again. And hopefully not die in the process. Alright, let's go. Rattle them, boys! Okay. The entire enemy team prioritized me, which I don't blame them, but whatever, we'll go with it. Oh, not what I'm looking for. Um, oh, my moment. Opportunity. Don't kill him. Yes! That is exactly what I was looking for. I know it doesn't say I killed them necessarily, but I like to imagine I killed them. Even if we don't get this rap assassin kill here, that's fine. So that's Bloxy Cola actually using the method I originally brought up, even if that's not the one I was intending uh, in the long run. So now, what's left? So we have the Boston Basher. We could do the Objector, but I don't think we really need to because that's like an all class weapon, literally every class, but like mechanic and agent use that, so I don't think we need to. Rally Racket, Holy Mackerel, I know people are going to be pressed if I don't do that one, and the Atomizer. So still, just about half of the melee weapons are left, and only one, um, only one, uh, secondary left, which doesn't seem like a bad weapon, but I don't know, I don't think anyone even uses this, so, we'll see. But this looks familiar. One more kill? Okay, there we go. That's all the secondary weapons, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I'll double check, but I'm like 90% sure that's all the uh, secondary weapons. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. 
Okay, that didn't work exactly, but... Well said. See, he agrees with me. I don't think we need to use any other stat boosts with the Rap Assassin, maybe for other weapons in the future. But I think in general, if we just get lucky and we just uh, go in unpredictable, it'll probably work out for us really well. Please, please, King. Yes! Rap Assassin kill is done. On to the... Let's go Rally Racket. See what happens. Oh, and we got a kill with the... Uh, 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 Boopy! I think we can just stay how we are. I think we can just use melee weapons and we'll still be... Like, it won't be impossible. It, it, it will be improbable, but not impossible. Yeah. I pay attention in English. Really not great, but... Oh, the Mad Milk! You forgot about the Mad Milk! Literally my most used secondary, and is the one that I forget about. Uh, so we still gotta do one for the Mad Milk. And I'm actually a little scared to go right to the front lines, because I feel like other people are gonna do that too. Just do something. Damn it! Oh my god, I feel like that was so close. But I feel like I was hitting the demo more than I was hitting the medic. <coughs> so definitely biggest thing uh, I'm worried about, and you saw it just happen, and I mentioned it even earlier, but just when the flanker is completely taken up, I get rather upset at that. That's a Mad Milk kill. He had the milk on him, so I'm gonna take that as a Mad Milk kill. And that is officially going to be all of our... Um, that's officially gonna be all of our secondary weapons. Is there a sentry? Right, I gotta really focus now. I'm gonna do what, uh... I'm gonna do what the kids nowadays call, uh, lock in. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, and one more hit would have been it. That's terrible. I'm very upset about that. I think I'll just actually... Or you know what? The short stop is the best thing for melee weapons. Because it does really good damage. Not only... Well, all the weapons do really good damage. But this one has pretty good firing. And also, like, it's just really good for not just killing opponents, but more specifically getting them low. Let's see. What more do you want from me? Oh, please. Please, Lord. Yes! Oh my god, we actually did it. That's the rally racket, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sir, I will not allow this. Thank you, King. We're gonna switch out of the rally rack and go to the atomizer. I don't know, it's just the first thing that I saw. But we do need the atomizer, and I don't think it's gonna be terribly difficult. Um, I don't think this is gonna be a terrible one, I think. As long as we just play our cards right and we find the right person, this can be really good. You, my friend, are not the right person. But fuck it, we've all... I did not expect that to work, and that's actually really convenient that I died, because now I get to switch... Back to the, um... Oh, there's only two left now. There's only two left in the entire thing. Um... We're gonna save the fish for last. We're gonna go Brooklyn Basher. You can actually use the Brooklyn Basher just all by itself. I know I said that about all the weapons, but I, like, really mean it with this one. Because I think the melee, um, hitbox in this game is actually really, really generous, believe it or not. And I mean generous as in it's really easy to get hit. So I guess it's generous just depending on what side you're on. See, how difficult was that? Two hits, and he's done with the Brooklyn Basher. Now we have one more left. The fish. I think it's really cool how... Or, not only is it cool, it's also... Um, it's just interesting that technically TC2 is not owned by Rolf anymore. Yeah, now it's owned by... Um, what's it called now? Digital Dorcas or something? 
what was it called before? Oh, it was called like Downy Press or something before. And I was confused when I saw who it listed the game was by. Because I was like, huh, that's weird. It's not in Rolf's um, Roblox group. But then I realized that, oh, it's just not... It's just not, it's just not owned by Rolf anymore. So, this weapon actually has, like, real jiggle physics the same exact way it does in TF2. And that's a really neat thing to think about. I think, honestly, the best way we can do this is to just go in and see if we get a kill with it. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, but he's a fellow fish. You know, I was thinking, because I didn't want to kill him there. I wanted, I really wanted to rush into like a whole group of people and just get lucky and get a kill with them. Fellow fish. No, he's frying the fish. No. We're going to do it before this match ends. We're going to do it. Unfortunate. Oh my god, that sucks so bad. Is that what I have to- is that what I do to people? I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing. And we'll pray to the gods. Come on. Fuck. Oh, you coward! You coward! Where did I go? I'm gonna give you a milky fish. Bitch. Oh my god, that's gonna do it. For good luck? Oh. I... I'm gonna be honest. That was a deserved backstep kill. Not just from... My... Uh, actions of greed, but that was a very valid... Uh, backstab hitbox wise that's gonna do it actually hold on let me review so we did the bat Brooklyn basher we skipped the objector genuine rally racket sandman atomizer rap assassin grill scout wooden sword candy cane cult shoulder and holy mackerel that's it for melee weapons uh, I'm fairly certain we did primary weapons we did lever shotgun shortstop specialist babyface mule mauler perceptionist shotgun cannon and soda popper and the DB and finally, for secondary weapons, we did the pistol, the mad milk, the winger, the witch's brew, the blocks eat cola. Definitely, I wouldn't say my favorite kill that I got, but still a really cool one. Super sneakers, concealed carry, six point shuriken, and the conventional. So that is going to do it for all of Flanker's weapons. This was honestly a lot more fun than I expected, I'm going to be honest. Definitely not the best thing, but I think if I do end up doing Trooper, if you guys ask for it, because Trooper's my main, uh, it's going to be a lot more fun doing it with him, because he has really diverse weapons. Like, I mean, look at these. These are all really, I'm, these are all really different, and I'm very happy. I would be very happy if you guys um, recommended me also doing Trooper. So, I think that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know, do the usual, what every other desperate YouTuber tells you to do. I'm really looking forward to possibly doing, um, I'm looking forward to potentially doing, uh, the same exact thing with Trooper and with all the other classes. So, um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.